Hunter with Dial H Hero Clicks, and I have with me Phil Young, who's a friend of the show and has been a guest a few times too. Actually, it's been a while, but it's been a long time. But uh, you guys are all famous now. People seem to like Phil a lot on the show. Uh, today we're going to do an unboxing of Phil's case of Legion of the of uh, Superman and Legion of Superheroes. Yep. Because Phil is the biggest Superman nerd I know. Wearing a Captain America shirt. <laughs> and is also a Legion fan, one of the few. Yes. And uh, he's trying to talk me into reading some Legion books right now. Legion Lost. So far, they're pretty good. Pretty good. Um, so what we're going to do is open a case. We're going to try to answer some questions. Namely, what is the distribution of the chases and the primes? So far, the rumors are there's one prime in a brick and one chase in a brick. But as we know with Iron Man, that was initially supposed to be the rarity, and then people started cracking bricks, and suddenly would pull you know two chases on a prime if they Four got super rares. lucky. So yeah. we're going to try to figure out the distribution and also wanting to find out the uh, toys, I'm kind of interested in seeing what the, if they are in a booster, if they take up a slot, and if so, what slot do they take up? Like, is it your, does that count as your super rare, or does that count as your common, or what? Um, is there anything in particular you're really hoping to pull, Chase? What Chase? Um, Chase, obviously, is the Superman servant, Dark Servant, and then also the Superboy, Super Rare, um, the two biggest figs. But honestly, complete the Legion set, that goes along with Superman. That would be fantastic, just so I can play that and be able any free, specific free prime form. you like out of the four? Oh, obviously Monel. <laughs> That's what I figured. House of L, man. Um, so let's see what Phil gets. Wanted to give you guys a quick look at the OP kit. There are four figures, or sorry, there are three different figures and three different objects. We've got a normal size Mordru because there's a giant size one in the set that you can uh, morph back and forth to. You see he has a morph trait. Green Lantern Monel, who's 200 points, which is quite a bit, but he has three excellent team abilities and some pretty cool powers and a very good sculpt. Shrieking Violet is a hockey puck, as some people call it, just like the Ant-Man from the Giant Man Super Booster. And that's the tiny size version of her. And then Superman action figure is actually one of the toys uh, that goes with Toy Man. Then we have two items. It said three items. Technic I think they're considering Superman action figure as an item and not a character. Uh, the Legion ring, which we saw spoiled on the Days of Clicks Miss, and this is the first time we're getting to see any information on that. And then Mother Box, which is a really good relic. Actually has some really cool powers and uh, works better whenever you play New Gods. Alright, so Phil's got his packs ready to open. He's got two that he specifically has a good... He wants to mention for the people who shake their packs and then try to test their Christmas presents out. Which one do you think has the toy in it that's light? Which this pack? one's light. I mean, like, listen. And then he, the <laughs> one on the left, he says, is super heavy. All right, open the heavy one. We're hoping ones. this is a giant, yeah. See if you have a Validus in there. Come on, Validus. Oh, it's Mordo. Or Mordru, God, sorry. God, he's humongous. Hold on. Oh, he's bigger than... Ugh. I'm really gentle. God, <laughs> There he is compared to another fig. All right, Quick. let's see your tiny booster. Let's see if this is a toy. I was thinking that this seemed like it could be one of the toy packs. Oh, no toy. Just uh, really unusually light. Looks like a whole bunch of regular size. Star Girl. Star Girl with the world champ. Phil super psyched because he got a Superboy. And then what is this, Phil? Zach Efron or Nick Lazan. <laughs> Giant in shape Nick Lazon. What's Nick Lazon the Hero Clicks name? Nick, the Squirts. <laughs> is, it, is that Cosmic Boy? It is, no, that is Colossal Boy. Yep. Colossal Boy. And I also got the Luther. Shows how much I shrinking know. Shrinking Violet and then the Daxamite. But this is this is the gem right here. What you got there? Got the Guardian Chase, the big head. <laughs> so, and then just a bunch of other Legionnaires. No Prime yet. No prime yet. All right, so we got our first toy here, and it looks like it's taking a common slot. So we have one. That's the common toy. Two. Uncommon, and still got a rare with the Riddler. So yeah, Phil brought up a point that it looks like there's rarity to the toys as well, which I don't oh. know if it was a good thing or a bad here's thing. Here's a here's a point to that. Oh, this is another common toy, the airplane. Maybe they're all common. Now, what what other rarities do you have in your booster there? Uh, looks like I have uncommon. Is it common. I, I'm sorry, I cannot see her. Rare and super rare. Okay, cool. So it doesn't look like they're taking the rare slot or the super rare, because in both boosters you got at least one or both. Yeah. 
What you got? Riddler Prime. Sweet. And you got you got the regular Riddler earlier too. Yep. Um, right here, the two Riddlers together. So another Miracle Man. That's pretty sick. That's a good Prime to get. So so far we're noticing allocation is is correct. We got a Chase and a Prime in a case. Got how many toys did you pull here, Phil? Five. Five toys, which is actually really good. That's better than the bats were in Batman, at least. Um, and then uh, one, two, three, four, seven super rares. And as you can see, these giants are far and away bigger than any giant they've ever put out. A good almost two, if not three times higher than the rest of the figure. So I'll sort these guys out by rarity and let you guys see the sculpts. Got three toys, airplane, race car, and symbol monkey. But again, he pulled five total. We've got the Guardian Chase, which the Chase in person looks a lot better than the pictures I had seen online. The painting is a lot better than I thought. And then the Prime is Edward Nigma. Super Rares in total, what, seven? That's pretty good too. Uh, Mordru, again, is ginormous. So he's a Super Rare. Tellus, High Father. Tachyon, who is a revert to High, High Father, reverts into him, or is it vice versa? No, oh, yeah, he reverts into him. And then Persuader, which actually is a really good sculpt. Superboy, and White Queen. Got 11 rares in total. Or actually, you got more than that. You got du some dupes, too, yep. of some rares. So quite a few rares. You got Starman and Universo. Bizarro. What's the robot's name? Computo. Computo. Dark Side. Shadow Lass. What is her name? There, Emerald Empress, and then who's on the left? Glorith. Glorith. Orion, who I hopefully can get my hands on. The Riddler. And Stargirl, which is the world champion piece from two years ago. Checking out the uncommons now. We do have an uncommon giant as well, Colossal Boy. There is an uncommon in every slot. Or, uh, sorry, a giant in every slot. Uh, Validus is the... The only giant that he didn't pull. Uh, you can check out some of the sculpts of these other uncommons. In general, the sculpts are quality is actually really good, don't you think, Phil? Oh yeah. There's some. I mean, of course, there are some standouts, especially Wildfire, which feels really crazy about. That it looks like a car. And uh, Mr. Miracle looks really sick too. They have a block simple, but like it, they just got him right. He looks exactly like how block you'd imagine. There's a whole lot of uh, clear plastic. I, I guess we we call sculpts where they they make use of clear plastic like you see here on Wildfire and we saw earlier on um, uh, Starman Starman yeah Superman and and Superboy. Stargirl too. All right, Giganta is the common uh, giant, and here's some more of the other sculpts. And and Phil brought up a good point that um, in the Wolverine and the X Men when the set first came out, which that was the last big main set, right? Yeah, Wolverine and the X-Men. Um, well, Invincible Iron Man. Invincible but, Iron Man. Wolverine, the, Wolverine and the X-Men had so many pushback delays, which w Legion was kind of getting a little bit. They got some stuff changed around a couple, about a week or two. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the worry that I was reading, and I heard the concerns from players, was that allocation would be messed up with, you know, team-based figs, uh, wrong cards, stuff like that, which we saw a lot of. We opened 60 bricks at our store. So. A ton of in Wolverine, especially. But Wolverine was far and away like the worst set when it first came out as far as having figures missing, broken, cards mixed up, figures that are supposed to be in team bases and the boosters and all kinds of crazy stuff. So yeah, but it's I, good we've seen sense. absolutely none of that, out of at least out of the case we have here. So in summary, distribution-wise, we saw one chase and one prime. Per one chase and one prime per case, so one one of the two in a brick. Uh, the sculpt quality overall is really good. The toy distribution was excellent. We with pulling five out of a case, um, several super rares, uh, eight super rares in total, and uh, we saw that the giants are even bigger than we had actually expected them to be. So overall, pretty happy with how this set has turned out so far. As I give you guys a little closer look at some of these other uh, figures. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to our YouTube video. And please subscribe to the channel.
where we try to put out weekly content. I will have a review of the Superman Legion of Superheroes Fast Forces up hopefully very, very soon in the next few days. So be sure, to, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you can check that out. And be sure to check out our podcast, Dial H for Hero Clicks, on iTunes, podbean.com, and on our YouTube channel every week.